Now we are looking at the electric kettle rated at 2 kilowatts. Now when you see the word watt, you should think of what is the quantity? Power. And then they told you power supplied to the heating coil. If you're not sure how electric kettle looks like, let me enlighten you. If you ever go to a hotel or some, maybe your house has this thing, there's this kettle, maybe this kettle connected there, where you can press a switch and if you put water inside, it will start to boil. Why does it boil? Because inside this kettle, there is a coil that will heat up thanks to electricity. And of course, it will generate some power. Like, okay, the coil looks something like this. Maybe it's a different pattern. I don't know. So we have power. We have a resistance of the coil. What is the current? You look at P, you look at I, you look at R. We know an equation for this. It's P equals to I squared R. So if you want to find current, then you just need to rearrange. So P over R. Square root. Done. Okay, let's calculate. So P will be 2 kilowatts divided by the resistance, which is 5 kilo. Huh. Interesting. So the kilo is just square root 2 over 5. And you get 0 0.63 amps. Okay, 632 lah, if you want to include more. So the answer is B. Yay, done. Wow, this is, you just need to stay calm and know what equation to use. Power, all right? So make sure you plug in stuff and know your equation. That is all for this question. Wow, shorter so far. I'll see you in the next question, next video.